Okay, let's get on to holding the ukulele. Okay, if I just hold the ukulele here, it's gonna fall down to the ground. So I need to find some anchor points. What I can do is get a strap, but even if I get a strap, I've still got some issues. I've got to hold it and I've got to get it at the right angle. Okay, so what I generally start by doing is we've got this little curve on the ukulele. I raise my left leg so it's a little bit higher than my right one, okay? And the ukulele tends to sit there. On okay, well, we've got two hands that do different jobs. We're gonna start with the right hand. We're gonna start and learn how to strum and what we're trying to do when we strum, okay? Stick in with me. Okay, we've got fingers and a thumb, okay? I know I'm stating the obvious. What tends to happen is people pick up the ukulele and instinctively start strumming with their thumb. Now there's good reason for that. When you use, when you do an action with your thumb, your whole arm is engaged with the process, which means you've got a lot of control. Okay. Now, the downside of that is, if you want to strum fast like that, that arm is going to drop off. I could wiggle my finger. Now, if you wiggle, try and wiggle your finger like that, it is very hard to keep in time and you're just going to give yourself arthritis, okay? Why worry about that when you can use your fingers and wrists, importantly? So what we do is, I've already said to get your arm actually quite far over here, we're going to strum around this area, just where the neck meets the sound hole, round about there. And what we're going to do is we're going to curve our hand round and it's like backhand ping pong or op opening a door, if you see what I mean. So backhand ping pong. And that's what I want you to do. So it's this, this sweeping action. I want you to do down strokes, okay? With the back of the nail. All right. Now, music, it tends to be written out in what we call standard time. Most of the songs that you're going to play on the ukulele, unless you go, unless you really enjoy playing waltzes all the time, is going to be in a, what we call standard time. So what we do is we get the music and we, we cut it up into measures of four, okay? And we tend to pulse things. We tend to have a rhythm going within that beat of four. The simplest one would be to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Stop. Okay. So that's the simplest kind of strum. Okay. We're going to do something strange. We're going to give that strum a name. And we're going to name it T, as in a nice cup of tea. OK, so we're going to go T and we're going to strum and say the word T in sections of four. OK, so T, 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 stop. OK what's with the T thing? Right, hold on, hold on. Okay, so the T thing is all about the next drum, which is going to be called coffee. Yeah, 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 it's, it's making sense now. All right, so the T is down strokes, but the coffee is a down and an up stroke. Now, one coffee is going to take the same space as one T. That's very rude. Is it good, my fit? Oh, oh. That's a nightmare doing this film stuff. Okay. I don't know how Joe Wicks does it. Okay. Here we go. So, we're going to go. T, 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 T. Coffee, 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 coffee. T, 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 T. Coffee, 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 coffee. Or down, 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 up, down, up.
Okay, two questions that are coming flying by telepathy through the video is like, do you have to be playing a chord to do that strum? No, no, you don't have to. The other one is, it's all right for you, but when I came up, the ukulele just kept jumping up in the air. Yes, yes, I know, I know, I know, I know what's going on. Okay, so what happens is when we strum down, in fact, when we strum anyway, we're hitting the strings and hitting the strings is causing the vibration. If you think about it another way, it's a, a push when you, when you go down and when you come up, it's a pull. So your body's doing two different things. So what needs to be done is you need to learn to adjust. And your body and mind and your fingers will work out how to do it. How much pressure to do on the downstroke, how much to do on the upstroke, okay? And we call this muscle memory. And it's exactly the same process of getting a higher car and crunching the gears. It takes a little while to get used to it, but then your body just starts to get used to it. And after a couple of days, it's automatic. It will be the same with the ukulele. So we've got our tea, 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 coffee, 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 or one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and or we could go down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, T, 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 coffee, 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 coffee. Now, I can hear you saying, is that it? Is that the only strum we do? No, of course it isn't. But actually, with those two different strums, we can do an amazing range of um, sort of rhythms and sounds. I'll give you a few examples. So here we go. We're going to do the first one. We're going to do three teas and one coffee. OK, so counting wise, that's going to be one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one. OK, so here we go. Tea, 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 coffee, tea, 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 coffee, tea, 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 coffee, stop. Okay, right, let's do another one. This time we're going to go tea, tea, coffee, coffee, tea, tea, coffee, coffee, tea, tea, coffee, coffee, tea, tea, coffee, coffee. Now, all of this is still in the count of four, okay? All right, so it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and, okay? Here we go. Tea, tea, coffee, coffee, tea, tea, coffee, coffee, tea, tea, coffee, coffee, tea, tea, coffee, coffee. Now, I know some of you are already going, oh, I'm getting, oh, this is all going, can't I go tea, co tea, coffee, coffee, tea, tea, coffee, coffee, just go up and down randomly. You can, sure, okay, get yourself going. But the way I'm showing you how to do it is a surefire way of getting things going. And I'm going to be sh using that idea of tea, tea, coffee, coffee, to, um, to learn the songs that we're going to learn in this hour. Okay, I'm going to show you one more strum. This strum is very good if you're teaching between November and middle, the middle of December. You'll see why. It's basically going tea, coffee, tea, coffee, tea, coffee, tea, coffee, tea, coffee. And it could go at any speed. Tea. That doesn't sound like tea, coffee, tea, coffee, tea, coffee, but it is. Okay, so tea, coffee, tea, coffee, tea, coffee, tea, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. Stop it, stop it, stop it. We're not that good at Christmas. It's bad luck to do that sort of thing, but you get the gist. Okay, so. There we have it. We've had a little look at some strumming. 
We're going to examine a few more ideas of strumming um, in this video, but um, I'll come along with those when we actually do the song. Right, well, the next thing I want to show you um, is um, we're going to start getting onto this chording hand, okay? Um, and how to hold the ukulele um, to make the chords work nicely. I've already said um, this idea of holding the ukulele, um, the right arm coming round here, leaning into the uke a bit, and then that almost balancing, okay? I got this part here and I place that by raising my left leg a little bit. You can cross your leg, obviously, that's another way of doing it to get that sort of elevation. But just be careful if you do cross your leg, that your, your leg doesn't fall off and um, you get the gist. Okay, so here we go. My arm round there. Now, what I'm going to do is this hand's gonna come along behind here. What I want is enough room for a mouse to run underneath my fingers. So even if I've got really big hands, I want to keep my fingers poised over there, fingertips over there, and the thumb significantly quite well behind the ukulele. Eventually you'll find your own balance and you might get a little bit lazy and get your thumb up here, but just trying for the rule at the moment to try and do it like that. The grip is a bit like holding a, a tennis ball and we're, we're so like, we're like that. Now, if you look at the ukulele I've got here, I've put some stickers on. I've put a yellow sticker and a red sticker. That's going to be for our first two chords we're going to learn. Now, to play our first chord, all we need is one finger. We're going to use Peter Pointer. And it's going to go on there. It's the string furthest from your nose. And where we put our finger is in the spot base between these wires. This thing's called the nut. Okay, that's where the string sound stops. These are called frets, okay? And these are the spaces. This is where we put our fingers. Now, the confusing thing, I don't know why this was invented, but people talk about fret number three. And what they really mean is space number three. So if I do mention it, say um, fret number three, I apologise, um, it really means space number three, okay? I'll try and say both, try and remember both, okay? So for this one, what we're going to do is going to put our fingertip, Peter Pointer, on space number one, or fret number one, at on, on the first string, first string being the one nearest our feet, okay? And then we're going to do the down strum. Incredible. That is your C7 chord. Now, I could go into a big theory lesson with you. Of why is it called 7? Why can't it be called C23? That's another conversation for another day. Just trust me on it. We're just going to say 7. OK, we do 7 chords, OK, a lot on the ukulele when we start. There are other number chords as well, if seven isn't your favourite number. OK, right, let's move on to the next chord. The next chord we're going to play is an F chord. Now, you've already got your finger there. I want you to do the teeny tiniest journey. I want you to just move it over a string. Now, you can do it by looking at your finger and telling your finger to do it. Or you could just do it without even looking, OK? Just by feel. OK, you should be able to feel that space. Now, what happens now is the second finger, um, Toby tool, technical term, comes on there, OK? That is on string four, one, two, three, four, OK? And it is at the second space. There we go. So now we're going to alternate between the two. There you go. 